ChatGPT is visibly destroying a company called Chegg Inc. As you can see, Chegg's stock has gone down almost 50%. Why did this happen? First of all, we need to understand what Chegg is. Chegg is an edtech company. They help students prepare for the exams. There are certain things that Chegg does. One, you study with your expert, expert help, and you get exam preparations, and you also get proofreading for the finals. Now, this might sound very familiar because this is exactly what a lot of students are using ChatGPT for, apart from asking ChatGPT to do their homework. So now what has happened is, in the earnings call yesterday, Chegg has made this announcement. What is it? It said, in the first part of the year, we saw no noticeable impact from ChatGPT on our new account growth. And we were meeting expectations on new signups. However, since March, we saw a significant spike in student interest in ChatGPT. We now believe it's having an impact on our new customer growth. So this seems to be backfired because it's obvious um, Chegg being an edtech company, ChatGPT completely can crush Chegg and that's exactly what has happened. Chegg's stocks have gone down 48%. In fact, if you see year to date, Chegg's stock have gone down 64%. That's like huge number. But let's move on to the next news. Uh, if one man's uh, disaster is another man's opportunity, in the same way, OpenAI has closed new funding, approximately $300 million at $27 billion to $27, $29 billion valuation. So this is huge. As you can see, this is not a Microsoft in only investment. There are a lot of other funding um, companies, venture capitalists, including Tiger and Sequoia seems to have uh, tried to invest. So we do not have enough information about who exactly has invested. But as you can see that we know Tiger, Sequoia, Andreessen Horowitz, Thrive, K2 Global. So all these companies seem to have put in over $300 million inside OpenAI at the valuation of 27 billion to 30 billion US dollars. This is huge, but rightly so because ChatGPT is super famous and everybody loves that. In another news, the godfather, one of the godfathers or like so-called godfathers of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, who is known for receiving the Turing Award for conceptual and engineering breakthroughs that have made deep neural networks a critical component of computing. It's, it's, it's almost impossible that you do not know who is Jeff Hinton, but this page should explain you who it is. So Jeffrey Hinton or Jeff Hinton has decided to leave Google because while he was in Google, he could not speak about the dangers of AI. So he has left Google just to be free enough to speak about the warnings and dangers of AI. So this article goes deeply into the details about how he feels about the current AI system and what kind of things it can do for mankind. Definitely it's not Skynet, but he believes that it can cause some kind of harm. But in another positive news, we have got a completely new model that's called Open Llama. So it's an open reproduction of Llama where the bunch of researchers have decided to replicate what Llama is because Llama was something that Facebook never released and not a lot of people could actually release Llama with permissive license or any other fine tuned model with permissive license. So they have decided to create a new model with permissive license and that's what we call Open Llama and the model weights and PyTorch and Jack's weights have been shared on Hugging Face Hub. So if you want to use it, all you have to do is go to Hugging Face Hub, download the model, and then get started using with that. I hope this AI news was helpful to you. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video.